Now you know I couldn't be found to do Sitting home all alone to do Well, if you can't come around to do And least please tell a phone I don't be cruel to our hearts so true Only oh, if I made you mad to do For something that I might have said Please Otis Blackwell may finally be ready to take his place in history. If you think popular music doesn't affect the way people think and behave, imagine what it would be like if there hadn't been an Otis Blackwell. He wrote, Don't Be Cruel, All Shook Up, Return to Sender, Elvis Presley's biggest selling songs, at a time when Elvis affected every household in America and a generation growing up in the 50s. Otis Blackwell did more than write the songs. He gave Elvis his voice. Listen. You know what I want you to say. Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. To our hearts so true. And again, why should we be apart? Really love you, baby, cross my heart. Amazing, isn't it? Here's how it happened. Otis didn't provide sheet music for Elvis. He sent Elvis demonstration records of the tunes he wrote. Elvis copied the arrangement and the voice. The voice was Otis. Was Otis angry at this? No, indeed. Otis liked their relationship. When I heard the record, and he said, Jesus, man, this man sounds like me, or I sound like him, or he copied the thing, and it, and it's, and it works. Well, I figured, well, hey, man, it works. If it didn't work for you, it worked for him. That's groove, you know what I'm saying? So what I would do is, well, we got a thing going, man. Uh, you be thankful for what you can get because it's working out, man. So I'd stay back, and it goes out. Uh, I figured as long as the message was getting across, that's all that was important, you know. Otis is appearing at the Trucker's Inn in Jessup. We'll get to his big comeback a little later, and the comeback it is. Otis began as a performer. His first big rhythm and blues hit was called Daddy Rolling Stone. I'm Daddy Rolling Stone. Daddy Rolling Stone. Daddy Rolling Stone. Daddy Rolling Stone. call me Daddy. Daddy Roller. Daddy Rolling Stone. It was this song that inspired a couple of kids from England to name their group. That's right, the Rolling Stones. Not only that, Otis also wrote Fever, Great Balls of Fire, Handyman, and dozens of other top ten hits of the late 50s and early 60s. Maybe twice my size, but he don't know as much as me. I'm the daddy. Otis decided to return to performing because, well, Elvis died and there was nobody to carry it on. I tell people no, but I, I, I think really it is. I guess it may be because uh, uh, that sound now, you know, although it, 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 his sound has matured more because he's been working at it, uh, should still be out there. Uh, and and it's and, and not about someone who's copying, you know. And so I I, I think really to tell you the truth, I, I think maybe that that really that is the reason why. Now this time I'm gonna take it myself and pull it right in her hand. I'm gonna be coming back a very next day, and I'll understand the writing on it. Otis got a band together, a couple of guys from Baltimore and one from New York. They got their act together at the Desert Lounge in Pasadena, and they've recorded a record due out in about a month. All Otis's great songs, the way he always wanted them done. And put a right in her hand. And maybe come back a very next day. And I'll understand the writing on it. Return to send I know what sweat is all about. I know what sitting around waiting is all about. I'm about that. And I enjoy it. I know what hard times are all about. 
I know I'm having a good time. I know that when I see people dance to me singing, I, then I can really understand why people stay in this business as long as they stay in for as long as they can, because it's, it's one side of it that I'm just beginning to realize, you know, what entertaining is all about. And it's great. I hope I'll be around a long time doing it. If you want to see Otis Blackwell, he's at the Desert Lounge in Pasadena next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, the 24th through the 29th. Go here for yourself. One of America's greatest treasures, buried for so long, but blooming now in the spring of 1983. We'll be right back.